on this episode of You Didn't Teach Me Anything, we have this from Games Radar. Doctor Who villain star hits back at viewers who think the show has got too inclusive. Why don't you let your favorite show teach you something new? First of all, in the three episodes that we've seen so far in this brand new series of Doctor Who, the first of the series on Disney+, Plus, you guys didn't teach us anything. In fact, maybe you guys should be the ones that should learn something from this. That just because you put someone that just so happens to identify as something does not mean people are going to run to go consume it. And that's what they were hoping on. They were hoping on, okay, we're going to be as diverse and inclusive as humanly possible, and everyone is going to run to the show. You can just make a good show that just so happens to have diversity and inclusion in it, and people will go see it. But to sit there and make it seem like, oh, no, no, we're going to teach you something new. You haven't taught us anything. You've taught us the opposite effect, that maybe... Harping on these qualities is not how to sell a product. You've made three terrible episodes of a show that for the bulk of its existence was really well received. And when I talk about the political nature of the Doctor Who show, the people always tell me, yes, there have been other episodes where they've been political. No, 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 no. This is different. You ain't getting this years ago. If they would have done this years ago, the show would not have gone on as long as it did. And the people making the show know that. They just have the liberty to do it these days because Disney is just dumb enough to foot the bill. Because the BBC is not going to do it anymore. No, no, no. The BBC is done with the show, it seems. That is why this Disney Plus deal was so important to the show. Because they knew, nope, it's over at this point. Jinx Monsoon, the character that plays the maestro, goes on this extremely long rant about Russell T. Davies' sexuality and the diversity and the inclusion and all the things that... People should be striving for in life. Yeah, yeah, that's great and all, but you're making a bad product. Couldn't you just make a good product that just so happens to have someone that was in RuPaul's Drag Race? As I said in my previous comments about the Doctor Who episodes, The Birdcage is one of my favorite movies. That's about two gay guys running a drag show in Miami. Great movie, Robin Williams, Nathan Lane. Highly recommend it. Fantastic movie in every aspect. But this is not The Birdcage. This is not Freddie Mercury with Queen. This is not Elton John. This is not breaking barriers in any way, shape, or form. This is a bad show written by people that have no idea what they're doing anymore, that have completely 100% sold out to all these companies and are going to cram as much diversity and inclusion as humanly possible. And if you want to do that, go at it. But you can't even bother to make a product that's good? Isn't that just kind of a weird thing, though? Because at this point, you can't even do the basics of entertaining an audience and yet at the same time you want to try to strive for yes we should change everything and we should just keep adding this diversity and inclusion and press it forward and giving these people a voice like well you have a voice go use it for something good but instead you're squandering it you're squandering your one opportunity to make people say okay well this person might not identify the same way i do but in the end, we're not so different, you and I. You've squandered it. Russell T. Davies had the opportunity to go out there and put this man as the face of Doctor Who going forward. And you could have put all your resources into it and made this the greatest series that the world has ever seen, but you did the opposite. You wanted to fail. From the numbers, you guys are hysterically failing these days. You've lost about 300,000 from episode 2 to 3. 300,000 viewers have said, nope, I'm done here. And the numbers originally were only at 2 million. So in a couple of weeks, we might be getting Batgirl level viewership. Well under a million, almost at 500,000. And in the end, they have no one to blame but themselves. And maybe they should take this opportunity to learn themselves something. To teach themselves something. That it's not enough to just be something and think that people are going to flock to your defense and consume your product and tell you how great you are. You have to do the core, simplest thing of entertaining them. And you can't even do that.
So what do you guys think about that? You think Jinx Monsoon's comments have any weight to them whatsoever? Or is this just a desperate plea to try to shame people into watching this show? And right now, no one's watching it. Let me know what you guys think about that.